Hello everyone, this here is Big Mech Zelnik and I'm here to talk to you about what happens when orcs are not properly in charge of a hulk. This here is a sparky boy hulk. That's right, not proper orky, doesn't even have buggies in it. It's just a bunch of sparky gits trying to act edgy because they took a hulk from us. It's really, really sad. All right, everyone, I'm talking today about the Chaos Space Hulk. This was a relatively recent edition in the 2010 FAQ, Forces of Chaos uh, edition, that kind of took the uh, the meme world by storm in regards to BFG, because it's just pretty ridiculous. Now, uh, this really, as far as I can tell, was added partially because it's hilarious, and mo mostly because um, there are elements of the story that regularly regard space hulks as being under the command or control of forces of chaos so what you have is a orc space hulk that has fewer hits but a lot more firepower moving on to its stat line it is a 40 hit defense you have to hit this thing 40 times to kill it Ugh. it has a 10 centimeter speed uh special uh when it guards the turns three shields four up armor and six turrets it has a port and starboard 45 centimeter weapons battery at uh, strength 12, launch capacity 8 divided between port and starboard, port torpedoes, starboard torpedoes at strength 8, a dorsal 60 centimeter strength 8 lance all around, prow weapons battery at strength 12, prow lance battery at strength 4 at 30 centimeters, the prow lance battery is 45. Proud torpedoes at strength 8, and an aft weapons battery at strength 12. This thing is absolutely ridiculous. It's a giant lump of amalgamated nightmare on the tabletop, and bringing one is always, at least for me, fun to play against. At 650 points, it is enormously expensive. Now, this thing does not follow the standard rules of a normal ship. Uh, due to its size, the leadership is always minus one. It may never use come to new heading or burn retros because basically you're drifting through space screaming like a maniac, not really sure where the hell you're going. Uh, you may launch up to twice the number of attack craft on the table uh, as the number of remaining launch bays ha has available. So if you you launch your maximum, you reload, you may launch again even if your maximum eight is already on the table. In regards to movement, you must move 10 centimeters in a straight line each turn, no more, no less. After the set, uh, you do not reduce your speed by blast markers, and you may only ever turn 45 degrees and only in every second movement phase. It is taken at the end of your 10 centimeter movement, so it is extremely hard to maneuver. But then again, that's to be expected. It's a giant lump of rock with uh, engines sticky tacked onto the back. Uh, this Hulk. Uh, does take the advantage, take advantage of gravity wells. It also itself potentially can have gravity wells. Uh, yeah, it has its own gravity wells. So bear that in mind. It is literally no moon. It is a space station. Uh, this thing it, it takes damage in different ways than other ships. It has its own uh, critical hits table that you should go over with detail if you are going to use it because it is very specific. Um... Uh, if damage does not apply for any reason to the critical hits table, it always count goes up by one, whether you like it or not. Uh, you cannot be crippled, which is ridiculous. You have to erode it through the critical hits table. Uh, and when it finally dies, um, it basically f uh, <laughs> turns itself into an asteroid field. <laughs> Now, uh, using this thing, a uh, cast fleet of any size may include one Space Hulk. If taken, it must serve as the flagship, and it cannot be taken with a Planet Killer or activated Blackstone Fortress. Too bad. So sad. Um, and it may not be used as any uh, with any named ships that must be used as the Terminus Dest. It may not take any chaos marks, but other ships still can. Basically, if you want, if you basically have a rock outside that you think looks funny, you can use this as your flagship. Uh, a chaos fleet, including a space hulk, may have no more than two other battleships. Plain and simple. That is a requirement. Uh, however, there is no minimum requirement uh, for fielding a chaos space hulk. So if you want to play the game, just go outside, find a funny looking rock, put a base on it, put it on the table. You have a chaos space hulk. Congratulations. Um, so, and there's no restriction on which fleet you can take it in. 
So uh, have fun with this giant, you know, fever dream of a nightmare. Because if you really want to make things interesting for your Imperial players, this is a great way to do it. It's just amazing. All right, everyone. That is the final uh, true fleet ship of the Chaos uh, fleet. Thank you all for watching. I will talk with you all again in another video.